hello wordpress nerds welcome back to another video of let's learn wordpress gutenberg blocks so if you are new to this video i would suggest to start watching the video from the beginning so that you know what we are doing in this video and if you are confident that what you are doing then just keep watching this video so in this video we are going to talk about wordpress block custom category so what does it mean by wordpress block custom category so for that let me show you something in the wordpress backend so this is my local wordpress setup and if i click on add new button so we see this uh, gutenberg editor and if i click on this plus icon where we can see the list of blocks so here you can see that all the blocks are arranged in a in specific category so for example this is the category text and all the text related blocks are under this category similarly media design and etc other so we are going to add our own custom category and in that custom category we will be adding our block custom block so this is the block we created in our previous videos and now we will be creating our custom category for block and our block will be displayed under that particular category so let's jump into the code before jumping into the code if you are new to gutenberg development then I would suggest to watch or review this website called the wpvoyage.com this has very good tips and tricks regarding Gutenberg development and Gutenberg editor so please go and check out this site thank you so I'm gonna open the plugin file so yeah here is the plugin bwp search and i'm gonna open main php file for the plugin where we registered our block over here now um, how we can add custom category so it is very simple we just have to use this hook so let me search this hook inside google and i will open this uh, official document from the wordpress and we have to use this filter so i'm gonna add this filter into plugins main file add filter So this is the callback now let's see what this hook accepts so this hook has two arguments one is the category and another one is the block editor context so there are two arguments so we will pass um, priority and uh, two arguments so we will be using the same name as they displayed and as this is the filter so first things first we have to return the first argument so now let's see what we get inside block categories first so I'm gonna print are the block categories and I will refresh this page so we have the array of 
list of categories so let me let me view the page source because this is displaying behind this editor so here yeah so we need slug title and icon uh, to add new array so what I'm gonna do is let's use array push so array push uh, accepts two arguments so this function pushes the element to an array so in that first argument will be our original array and second argument will be the element we want to add in this array so we need slug title and icon slug let's say bwp plugins another one is title and icon title title let's say bwp plugins and uh, text domain and third one is icon which is blank for everyone everything so we will keep blank as of now so now it should be added so let me just print out this after error push so this should be added in our original categories array so if I refresh the source again so our array is here now so our category should be started displaying so let me comment this out and if I refresh this and now if I click on this icon text is there it should be at the bottom of this list Um, it is not displaying I think because there is no um, block assign in this category so let's assign our block our custom block inside this new category so for that uh, open the SRC folder block.json and in that we see this category parameter we will add our custom slug which we just added over here and make sure you do npm start after doing this so let's confirm my npm start is already running so if you are not running the npm then after changing this uh, category over here just run npm start and wait for couple of seconds so after successfully uh, run the npm let's go back here and let's refresh again and now if I click on this plus icon let's let's go to the bottom of this list and here we go our category is started displaying and our widget is under that category now safer side uh, we can use the second parameter so let's see what we get in this second parameter 
so that we can safely display our category wherever we want so if I again I will I will refresh this I think it will go behind the editor again so yeah it is behind the editor so let's view page source again So here we get this object uh, related to what post we are uh, add or editing. So simply safer side if we we can check uh, we can check if if post so if this object is not empty then only apply our new category or let's say you have a requirement for a specific post type so you can check post type as well let's say i just want to use my custom uh, block only for the posts and not for the page so we can use this something like this so it's an object again so if I write something like this so it will be limited to only post post type but I don't want to do that I will just keep this uh, condition over here if we get this post object then add our new category just let's just confirm our category is still there or not so it is still there let's confirm this was the post let's confirm in the page as well so let's add new page So in the page as well we have our own category now this icon we can add icon as well uh, for that we can use wordpress dash icons so let's try to add an icon quickly so let's say I'm gonna add this uh, let me try to search okay this magnifying glass so copy html no 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 need to copy just use this whatever written after dash icons dash so i'm gonna just copy this search and i will use this search here and now let's refresh this it should display an icon somewhere here let's see so yeah as you can see we have our icon here so this was just a demonstration I will remove this and i will provide this custom plugin link into the description section so this is the video guys if you have any doubt or question please write down below in the comment section thanks for watching the video